Hi everybody, welcome to the Big Oggy Weekly Roundup. I've been trying to think of a name really for a while for the kind of chat and play videos that we're going to do quite regularly. Obviously we did a Wednesday one the other day, but they're not always going to be weekly. They'll probably be fortnightly. They might not always be on a Wednesday. Oh well, uh, welcome to the Roundup. Now, today we're back at Merlin and I've got a bobble out and I can't believe it. It's May, welcome to, uh, well, nearly summer. Um, happy Beltane to everyone that celebrated it the other day. And uh, I'm wearing this because, quite frankly, it's blowing a gale. It's about 20 mile an hour plus winds at the moment, and we are on top of a hill. Whether this will stay on for long, I don't know, but it's more of a toka gesture to keep the air out my eyes for a while. Um, I'm going to crack on. I'm going to just discuss a couple of things that I've been thinking about recently, and we'll show you a couple of uh, ideas that have been coming on my way. I'm going to try this ball today. This is called the Hosel Rocket parachute mind boggles crazy name um this company i found on instagram and uh, they were good enough to send me a dozen balls i've got six of them here one's already set up and uh because it's the kind of magazine show whilst i can finish getting this camera set up and everything let's pop over to steve treby and his son alfie they run a fantastic little uh youtube channel of their own uh, so check them out i'll put the details below very windy, sorry, I'll put the details below. And uh, they did a little review for me. Discuss a little bit about Steve Treby in a while. But go and watch the video and come back. Five, four, three, two, one. Hi, Big Oggy, it's Alfie and Dad Golf. Thank you for giving my dad some balls to review. So, yeah, I met up with Big Oggy at Gilly Flower golf club for their charity day for children's hospital southwest fantastic day nice to catch up with john again so he's given me some hustle rocket balls now alf do you know what a hustle rocket is no so a hustle rocket is another name for a shank don't really want the shanks do we no so yeah so once you're sure about the name so this is the Hossel Rocket, the parachute ball. So the Hossel Rocket parachute ball is a premium three-piece urethane ball. So they give it premium performance around the greens without compromising distance. So it's meant to be a, a soft ball. So Al's got the ball in his hand there. So again, you've got the, the, the Hossel Rocket logo which is the the obviously the rocket so um different name yeah isn't it it's uh, unusual but the ball looks nice yeah feels soft, soft. yep um so with it being a three-piece ball you're in effect putting these up against your your pro v1s your chrome softs um so your your top end balls but how much do you think a box of 12 balls are? I'm not sure. Box of 12 balls, £24.95. Comparing to a box of Pro V1s, £45. So actually a good price. But how do they play? So we're going to take them on the course at Trethorne. You've got your lesson in a moment. Yep. And then we're going to do nine holes afterwards. We'll record a few shots and just let you know what we think about the ball yep. uh, and see how it um, how it plays after nine holes. Does it scratch up or is it still looking good? Yeah. So we'll see you out on the course. So we're out at Trithorn, do nine holes, and we've got the Hosel Rocket ball we're going to try out. And we'll let you know how we got on with it, won't we, have? Yep. At the moment, we've just done the first hole. Uh, both had two fives, so one over par. Um, feels okay, feels good. Hmm, sounds a lot more than you think. Oh, 
Bye for me. Good shot. Good shot. Good five, Alf. Turn more at the end. Pretty much straight at the hole with good pace, Av. Oh, good putt. Good putt. Turned at the end a bit, didn't it? So we've just finished our nine holes with the Hosel Rocket Parachute Golf Ball. What did you think of it, Alf? I think it was very nice and soft and it felt very nice. So you liked that? Yeah, I liked it. I really enjoyed it. It feels nice off the club face. Putting, it's got that soft feel you'd expect from something like a Pro V1 Chrome Soft as well. The flight of the ball was nice. Came off the driver lovely. Um, durability, nine holes. I've got a couple marks on mine. I've got no marks. No marks on Alfie. He's been in the bunker and I cross a path. So if you compare this, which is $24.99 for a pack at 12, to Pro V1, which is £45 for a box of 12, I think I know where my money's going. And for my level of golf, I can't see any difference between the two balls. Obviously, we haven't got any launch monitors or anything like that, just out on course. Couldn't see a difference in it. So, uh, thank you, Big Oggy, for uh, letting us have a go with these balls, and we'll hope to see you soon. Bye. So, hope you enjoyed that little review. Yes, I've got pockets of golf balls right now. I would have. Um, we're on the 13th. We're going to play the last six holes today. Um, let's just dr drive off, and then uh, we'll discuss what we're going to do on these six holes. So the 13th is a par four uphill. We've got to go uphill kind of to the right if possible, but everything will sweep to the left. Well, that's a bit of a bouncy skimmer, but hey, it's a rough start, but it's over the hill and it's kind of in the right direction. We'll crack on, it'll get better. Not sure if Shot Trey's gonna pick that one up, but it went a long way along the ground. So we're gonna play bogey golf today. Uh, wasn't a bad result, actually, by the time we slid down the slope. Um, I'll explain more about that in a while. Just wanna get this hole done, then we're kind of out of the way of everybody. We can play at our own pace then. Let's go with a seven wood, just to keep going. That's a bit wild and a bit right, John. But it is playable. Rough start to the day. But hey, I'm actually back on camera hitting a ball. It doesn't really matter right now how bad I'm playing. Okay, so I'm still trying to get my watch to pick up the GPS for here. Um, we're going to go seven iron. Old school golf right now. That's not too bad. That's okay. So, just short of the green, but that's okay. Need to be on the right hand side, really. I think it's a bit of a slope. You know, I'll take that. Take that for the first hole of the day. So let's take a look at this. One, two, three, four, five. It's about 15 or 16 feet with a, as I see it, left to right slope.
yeah. We'll be happy with that. Yep. Solid start. Not the best, but it was an iffy first tee shot. Let's get to the tee box and we'll explain what's going on. Okay, like I said, it's been a while since I've been out on a proper course and filming. Um, so everything's against me today. Um, but we're just going to play the last six holes, 13 to 18. And um, what I've done, I've been, I have been watching a lot of videos of late, but I have been, sorry about this strong wind again, I have been listening to quite a few podcasts and I'm watching or I'm listening to Beast Golf Club at the moment. Um, they did a piece on that the other day, which is all about beating 100. Now, I quite often beat 100 now. I sometimes get near 90 and it's kind of, that's nice, that's kind of where I like, I like to be. Um, but to beat 100, one of the things they said, apart from practicing short game and putting all the time, is get your scorecard and ignore these, ignore your par details. Because you've got to play bogey golf and sometimes even slightly more than bogey golf, okay, to break 100. So what we've done is we've taken these for the last, these 13, from 13 onwards, so 13 is supposedly a par 4. We've marked it, we've crossed it off, made it a par 5. We've changed the rest, par 4 is the next, sorry, par 3 is the next one, that's a par 4 now. Uh, next one's a par 4, which is now a par 5, etc, etc. The idea is to take the pressure off of you thinking you need to really get up there in the kind of regulation amount, yeah? So you don't have to be on a par 4 and get to the green in two or whatever so we're just playing it like this today so okay i scored a six bit of a ropey start been a bit nervous playing on camera again it's been a while to be honest um i did take out the cameras just the little old cameras at the moment my wife's using a big camera to do some cooking stuff on big Aussie world um i'm traveling lighter now i've decided one thing to do is to travel lighter with a smaller camera lighter tripod etc not good in a 25 mile an hour wind right now um but it's been quite nerve-wracking getting back playing on a, on a course with camera. So let's play the next hole, and then we'll discuss more about that and what happened when I went out recently. So this is hole 14. Off the yellows is 188 yards, and it's a tricky par 3. So we're going to play the par 4. Just going to get it closer. So then we're in the kind of well, killing zone, I guess. Out of bounds on the right, and it's a big slope and a tricky green to be around. So get closer. A little bit to the left this time. But actually, that's okay. That's okay. We carry on. Oh, been a while, this. Okay, I'm not doing the examples very well right now, but we're still 90 odd yards, but it's not a pressure right now because I've got three shots to get there in 90. Over the bush, it's what we wanted, just, but we're over the bush. So we nearly made the green. So, I'm gonna putt, I'm gonna putt. Oh yeah, we'll putt. Oh, nearly, nearly. Finish the hole anyway. We'll take a four, which is what we want. Less pressure because you feel you had to get a four for a par. And if you got a five, well, that's not too bad if you're still trying to break a hundred. So, had to be a bit quick then. Well, we're on a par four, which we're now going to play as a par five. Had to be a bit quick because I'm still quite nervous about people around me. People are starting to catch up on the back, which is expected. That's not a problem. But there's a whole load of builders here doing some work on a new, I'm guessing a new tee position. Not sure exactly. But when you've got about three or four vans and loads of people around and they're having a drink break time, you know, four loads of workers, one actually digging. 
Sorry, lads. <laughs> um, I just wanted to get the tee shot out and done. And actually, a little bit of pressure. Funny how it works, isn't it? Funny how it works. So I went out with Steve Treby, um, not last Friday, Friday before, for a charity event at Giddy Farrah Golf. You all know Giddy Farrah Golf. Um, it was great, it was great. It was, it was packed and that was one reason why we were gonna to struggle to film. I did take this little contraption with me in the hope we might be able to do some. Uh, it was a charity event, so basically you just paid money on the door for your tee box and off you went. That was basically it. Uh, it, was, it was a very busy course, like I said. I had a really bad start to the day. Um, I'll explain on the first tee and you'll see what happened on the first tee and then you'll understand kind of why we gave up filming from the start. Nerves just not, not there quite yet two weeks ago. Still, I'm okay now and I'm badly hitting the ball again and I don't care what you think. Well, I do, but you kind of understand that not everything's gonna go right. Watch the uh, only clip we filmed at Giddy Flower Golf. Hi everybody, welcome to Big Oggy Golf. Welcome back to Steve Treby. Hi John, you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting there, slowly, slowly. So, welcome to Giddy Flower Golf. We're at Giddy Flower again today. We were here for a Christmas special. I'll never forget it, um, <laughs> nor my mind and my body. Uh, but today, they've only recently reopened again after the winter closure. Last week. Yep, yeah, and we're doing, uh, it's a kind of charity event. So everyone's just throwing money in a bucket and uh, we're allowed to come Play nine holes, just relaxing today. The course is going to be packed. The charity is for the Children's Hospice Southwest. We'll do a couple of holes later on on camera if we can. Yep. But right now we're just going to tee off and get cracking, yeah? Bit of fun. Bit of fun. Oh, look, it's a great shot. There's a bit, bit of space right. out on the right in there, I think. Ooh. There'll be a bit of space out there on the right. I'm Hopefully. Sure. <laughs> Hopefully. Before we start, see, my day didn't start well. Massive traffic problems on the A30, didn't if I get here on time. Then I did two things wrong, two things wrong. I found myself a bacon butty van. I thought, I'll have a bit of breakfast. First thing, should have bought a bacon roll, not a bacon and egg. Ah. Secondly, should have had a bacon, if I had the egg, should have had it well done. Luckily I was wearing a t-shirt, not this. I bit it, screwed it all over myself. Oh. It, I know, it was like, it was like massacre at an omelet factory, it was honestly. But we're here. The yeah, of run, run the eggs aren't good, especially white tops. Oh dear. Kind of gone the same way as you. Mine might be in the trees. We'll find out. Yep. It doesn't matter because it's not. It's not really counting this. All we just did it in the fall. Bit of fun. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll see you later on in the course. So that's why. I didn't do any filming and I can also say I haven't had any breakfast today. Not taking that chance again. So I'm going to go five iron, play a bit safe, try and keep it along the fairway. 190 odd yards to go, but I'm just going to get closer really. And that I'm very pleased with. Rowing on top of the fairway, we'll keep going. So I'm 80 yards out. And this is where I want to kind of practice. This is the, this is my, what I think my scoring zone should be, anything 80 yards in. So I'm going to play lots of par three um, courses, pitch and putts, that sort of stuff. Get my short game better. I'm not going to have distances off the tee, I never have. But um, if I can get better at this part of the game, that's got to be my improvement. So although we're doing this bogey golf idea today, more or less it's for me to get back on a course, get in front of a camera, actually hitting a ball and uh, playing these kind of shots. Slipping down to green, yeah. Like I said, that's my kind of shot. So we just crept onto the green and for me at my level, I'm very happy with that. A lot of you may be watching and going, oh, only just on the green, that's not very good, it's a long way from the flag. Get on the dance floor, then you can putt. And my putting is normally pretty steady. So tapping for a five, bogey golf, no pressure because on the scorecard it says a five.
we crack on. So, hole number 16, 469 yards par five. Now look, I don't hit a long ball. So me getting there in three would be, well, not a miracle, but it'd be fantastic. That'd be really good shots for three shots. So we're calling it a par six. Give me a little bit less pressure. If I get a six, that's brilliant. Cause that's still bogey golf. If I get a seven, uh, two shots off a par five. Normally I probably get that if we're trying to break hundred. So we crack on. Take the pressure off your game. Best drive of the day for me so far. Right, we carry on. Oh, lost the tee. Must have been good. Now it says 300 yards to go. Well, strong wind. I'm into a really strong wind today. And I'm in slight rough. So I'm going to get a five iron and just get further up there. I'm not, I'm not going to get there in two shots. Tension to get there in three. Yep, safe enough. Bit of the fairway. No, I, I still can't really see the green. It's, it's over the top of that plateau. There's a little bit of a ledge that goes down. I'm going to go with a seven wood to get closer so we can now see the green. Now, okay, I, I dissected two bunkers here. So if I'd gone with a bigger club, I'd have been further down maybe. But I could also have been all over the place in the mess. And the rough here is really tough to get out of, even though they've been cutting it today. That will be fine. So I'm going to be really quick here. Um, that camera is precarious right now because this wind is, is a crosswind and I'm really worried about losing it. So I'm 120 yards out still. Again, pretty low, but it's running up there, rushing a little bit because I'm worried about this camera. Okay, so fifth shot. We're on the fringe, that's okay. It's, it's, a pot, it's a potable ball now. So get it up the fringe, onto the green, close to the hole with a bit of luck. Okay, camera malfunction, strong wind malfunction. Hopefully this is still working. But we'll happily take that. I don't know if you saw what happened to the last shot. The camera went over, what could I do? Let's go. And Get a little bit of shelter, let some people play through. We'll carry on. Can't believe I'm in a bobble hat and it's um, May 3rd, something like that. Um, we will put another hat on in a second because it's actually getting a bit sunny now, but the wind is blowing so hard, it'll probably just blow the cap right down the fairway. Hopefully same way as the ball. So yeah, I quite like this idea of just taking a bit of pressure off of, of what you're trying to score, really. Um, I must admit, I've been forgetting to write them down. So um, hopefully we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. That was a six. Fine. Two putts again for the six, which is what we need. Next hole of the par five. I'm letting some people play through because they're starting to catch up and there's a whole bunch of people coming. So nature of what we do on this channel. Um, golf day. There are nine tickets left available now for the big Oggy Charity Golf Day. So if you're thinking of coming, you just thought there was a lot of tickets left, you'll be fine. I suggest you open and get some because they will go pretty quickly now. Uh, as I said, nine left, 55 pounds at Trethorn. Trethorn is home of Steve Treby. Um, come on, just because he had to suffer me playing Giddy Flower, it's, it's worth coming because he deserves uh, for us to have a complete full 72 players. Him and his son Alfie are taking part along with uh, Dan Hendrickson, Lester Barnes, Lee Whitaker, uh, Josh from Golf Mates. So there's a whole bunch of people coming, yeah? And people like yourselves. Yeah, champ people like me, just normal everyday golfers. No pressure, doesn't matter what your handicap is, we will fit you in, you'll have a relaxing time. Yeah, 55 pound, get the tickets now from the website. So let's crack on and uh, we'll just finish with a little bit about the uh, Cornish Quest. Not much, just a little bit at the end, but let's get on with the next hole, which is a par five, which will now be a par six. This time the wind is right to left and kind of in our back. That'll be interesting. Okay, I've had to put this camera really low down because this wind is going to just wreck it. 
Um, it's already come off twice. Uh, 437 yards. Par five, we're playing par six. In this wind, it could be horrendous. We're out to the right. I thought they'd be swinging back in with the wind, but it's playable. Okay, I'm trying my best here, but I know the audio is probably just broken. Thanks to the camera going over again. The camera's now been protected by the uh, buggy. We're on the right-hand side. Isn't it funny? You hit straight into the wind and you think it's going to turn, and it doesn't. But the right to left. Still, back on the fairway, John. This is horrendous wind now. Uh, crosswinds are terrible for cameras because they just don't stay on the tripods or the tripod don't stand up. We're going to go five iron and try and get further. I didn't quite make the fairway, probably been a bit too greedy. Also rushing. Better, a little bit right to left hook. But we'll be in a position where we can actually go for the green for the fourth shot. So this could be the last time this camera ever works. I think the audio is smashed on it now. Luckily I've got wireless mics on. So 90 yards. It's the scoring zone where we want to be. And we're on the green where we want to be. Now, once again, a very long putt, but we are on the green. There is definitely a slope left to right, but this is our fifth shot. We're doing okay. And we're, and we're going to take that, aren't we? Yes, we are. Tapping for a six. Job done. Let's crack on to the next. Okay, so this is a par four, which we're now gonna play as a par five. It's the 18th, the wind is, um, well, not good, let's be honest. Or very good if you love wind. And trust me, to hit one of my straightest shots of the day, slightly to the right, but that, is okay. Oh, it's just going to go past that. Yeah, past that bush on the right-hand side. We'll be okay. So we're 190 out. I'm going to go five iron, as you can see from the grass flying around. The wind is bad. Um, just trying to get a bit closer. So I'm in a position for the next shot, really. And that's what I wanted. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I gave up on the hat. That just blew away a minute ago, twice. So we're 90, 90 yards out. Which again is where we want to be. And that is very short of the green, but close enough. So we're within, well, my putter length of the green. So Theoretically, two putts for a five. Got a long putt. Pace pretty good. In fact, pace is excellent. It was a gimme, but I have putted everything today. So, oh, forgive the wind and the hair. Let's get back in the car, warm up, or back in the clubhouse and finish off. A couple more things to say, but thank you for your patience. We're still here, camera's still just about working, I think. Well, uh, I was gonna do the filming in the clubhouse, but it's packed. 
It really is. There's loads of people in there today, and that's fantastic. No good for me for filming because it's too noisy. But well done to Maryland for getting a load of people here today. The weather is brightening up. I mean, it's lovely and sunny right now. I've actually got a, a wet towel with me, so I can actually put on my face because it's quite. the air is quite salty here. Obviously, we live in Cornwall, um, and I'll burn quite easily with that. But just cooling down a bit. But the wind, the wind is so cold, and I think it's probably 30 mile an hour now. I mean, if, if not a bit more. Um, we are on top of the hill. Hopefully, the last couple of holes I've managed to film... You saw the camera crashing on the uh, 18th, 17th, 16th green. After that, I don't know what happened with it. I tried filming, uh, it said it was working. There was no audio because uh, I think we've either smashed the audio in the camera or I've smashed the audio on the transmitter because uh, it, it went over about five times on the last two holes. So um, maybe I've got audio because I've got a little wireless mic on but as a backup, so maybe I can try and put that together. If not, I'll have to do a voiceover, but hey, it'll all work out in the end. If you want a crowdfund or, or help to make for a new camera, because I think I'm going to need one, um, we'll see. It's just one of those days. Uh, the problems of, of using a lighter weight equipment and obviously the wind was worse than I was kind of hoping it was going to be today. But a couple of things. What did we learn? Well, we learned, or I think I learned, when you mark the car with an extra shot, it just takes that, that pressure off in your mind. I know that's how you should be playing the game at my level, but by putting on that scorecard, it kind of makes sense, makes you think about it more, okay? And also, it allows you to not play the stupid shot, the one you think, oh, I've really got to go for it, I've got to go for it, and it doesn't always work out. So, you know, kind of, it kind of worked. Also, I don't know what I scored right now, and that's because, well, I don't have time to mark the card at the same time as while I'm filming, but actually that's a good idea, because another way to lower your handicap is to stop looking at your scorecard. Mar obviously mark them down yourself, but don't add anything up until you finish the round or you go home, or you put your card in. How many times have you played nine holes? You've gone, you've gone really well, and you looked at the score and you thought, blimey, I'm, I'm doing so good. If I do really well... On the back nine or if i do really well on the last three or four holes I'm, I'm in for a chance to win the prize or i'm in for to drop my handicap and it just goes to pieces because the, your, your brain goes okay so I just take it out of the equation play the game enjoy the game i just score up at the end yeah so i will add the score up and we'll see what it looks like but i'll do that when i get home i could do that thanks to the uh, miracle of filming and editing hopefully so what else do we learn well there's two things today The parachute ball from Hosel Rocket. Uh, if you if you saw the very start, I hope you did, because I'm you're right at the very end now. Um, I think they did quite well. I think uh, Steve Treby enjoyed them as well. Alfie Treby enjoyed them. Get one out here. That's a bit green now. That's the one I've been playing with all day. Um, I just done six holes with it. Not marked. Puts nice and soft off the. Uh, that I, I didn't really notice any difference between that or any kind of really decent premium ball. Weird name. I think the idea of the name was a bit of a pun, a bit of a tongue in cheek kind of idea, and I don't know if that will actually backfire on them. Um, golfers don't always get the jokes. Sorry, but they don't. But a uh, good ball. I'm, I'd be more than happy to play with it. Yeah, and I'm not just saying that because they give me some. I gave them to Steve Treby. Quite frankly, not a bad ball. Good price as well. Happy to use that. Got a few more until I run out. Um, so, what other boards do you use that are not the main brands? Because, quite frankly, at our level, it costs a lot of money to play golf. Not just not just for the cream fees or everything else, but um, just the amount of balls we will lose. Um, very good ball. Very good ball. Try them out. Look them up online on Instagram. Hosel Rocket. Strange name. Good ball. Good ball. Lastly, lastly today. Oh, because I need to get home. I really do. If you've watched my channel for some time, you know that um, I have big feet. I do, yeah, I know. Thanks to my old business, and yeah, here we go again. Another discussion about my old business. I have large feet. So they're a 13, uh, sometimes a 13 wide. So I can't get that many versions of golf shoes in this country. There's a couple that appear from time to time and you've got to kind of be quick when you get them. Um, but the big name brands, hard to find. So, a couple of years ago, uh, Footjoy were kind enough to give me a pair of uh, Pro SLs. They were sent from the States uh, on the MyJoy system. 
and they've been brilliant and obviously you've seen them all in my color pink and blue and you know i designed them <laughs> i know um but they have had it they have absolutely had it they've fallen to bits and uh they're literally not usable anymore so um i i scrounged around i, I begged borrowed and whatever and i tried and i spoke to a few people and uh luckily at bunkered live i managed to speak to foot joy and uh thank you very much foot joy because you have donated another pair of shoes for me to wear on the channel thank you so much it really is so we're going to, you're going to be seeing them a lot on the uh, new uh, cornish quest series got them uh they arrived last night so we'll do a quick unboxing just to show you what they're like i didn't design the cut of these kelly did so she's very happy with them i'm happy with them too they'll be lovely they'll be lovely just a little bit more subtle than normally i would create so i got this little package today kelly on camera golf widow Look at this golf widow that I got today. Yeah. Boy with new toys. Mm -hmm. Or should I say, new golf equipment. New comfortable golf equipment. New shoes. New shoes. Thank you very much to Footjoy. Um, I have been quite persuasive trying to get a pair of shoes um, fitted for me because I, am a, I do have big feet. Yeah, you have a problem with that, don't you? You can't buy them off the shelf. No, so we had to contact Footjoy and uh, they sorted out a pair of my joys for me my joy pro sl you know i use pro sls pretty much all the time uh, on my channel when i'm playing golf but these are my new ones colors designed by golf widow behind the behind the camera i they're, think they're classy they're a bit more subtle than they normally are for me what do you think of that very smart i knew well you've had to say they're very smart because you picked the colors they're going to be lovely. They're going to be really good. Can't wait to use them on the channel. Perfect shoes for me. Lovely. Love the tartan. Look, yeah, well, Absolutely I think it's nice. Love the yeah. Gotta love tartan. One day I'll get to Scotland as well. But right yeah. now, you'll be seeing them all over Cornwall, Devon, and the Southwest. Someone's popular because uh, your phone keeps pinging. It's not my phone, it's my watch. Same thing. There you go. They're all, they're all contacting you saying, Love the shoes, love the shoes, Kay. Love the design you've exactly. created. Yeah. Very good. Can I they would be asking me to design shoes for them then. Well, you never know. Um, very quickly, I will tell you what the colours are if you want to know. If you want to, if you want a set of the big Oggy style uh, Pro SLs from Foot Joy My Joys, the the base is frost grey. In a bourbon spec, saddle is red plaid. Accent is crimson smooth. Lace colour is uh, grey right. currently. I may change that. Um, everything else is pretty much crimson smooth on it. There you go. Very Love smart. them. Thank you very much, Footjoy. Thank you very much for supporting my channel and for all the work that you do, linking with me and promoting golf wherever you are. So that's my new Pro SL shoes, and I'm very delighted with them. Might change the laces, yeah? Might go for rainbow laces. We'll see. I, li I like supporting everybody in the world. So. Lastly, lastly, the Cornish Quest. Uh, very quickly, the Cornish Quest. Um, just still working with lots of people, still speaking to various golf courses. I'll give you a bigger update probably on the next one of these uh, videos. Uh, right, right now, I'm just speaking to some people who kind of moved around different courses. Some of my friends are now working on other courses. So let's get it all sorted, get a closer rundown of the courses that are happy for us to play or very interested in the ones that aren't. And I'll let you know probably in the next one of these update videos whether it be weekly whether it be fortnightly it'll be one of those two but right now i need to go home and oh, see if i've got any footage see if i've got a camera that works bye everybody please subscribe please hit the notification bell do all those things come and join me on big Ollie golf my wife and i on big Ollie world the food channel and um i better see if i got some second hand clubs or something to try and sell to try and buy a new camera life for youtuber eh? oh well Speak soon, everybody, and I will be now back on a course properly because I enjoyed that today. And quite frankly, I'm a lot more relaxed now than I was mentally, well, the last three or four months. Let's crack on. Enjoy your golf, everyone. Summer's here, nearly.